Ahoy there, YouTube. I'm back again for another episode of Bauer Goes Digital, where I do something on my iPad and show you all about it. And today I'm going to be reviewing the early access version of the Dized app, D-I-Z-E-D. -E so Dized, they, uh, I actually found out about this company a couple of years ago at Gen Con. They had like this big thing where it was going to be an app that would do tutorial videos so you could essentially skip the rules and it would all be kept inside of this one app and now the app is a reality so let's go ahead and check it out so it says please check your internet connection i'm not connected to the wi-fi right now because i want to show you what you can do once you've started to download some stuff so first let's just take a look uh normally this would have my username and all that good stuff but still the reason what i'm trying to show you is that we played team three last night with a tutorial which as you can see i own because right now you can own them all for free everything they have which is why i'd highly recommend getting on early before this thing gets huge which I think it could. It looks really cool. So I click on tutorial and it doesn't have any other languages that you can get the tutorial in. None of them do as far as I know currently, but it's nice that that is currently planned. And then I'm going to hit play right here. Uh, normally there would be a download button there, but since I already own it, as you can Welcome see, to the Team 3 tutorial. Are you playing for the first time? Which version of the game do you have? Pink, green, or both? So this is something that needs to be fixed. This is something that Welcome needs to be fixed right there because tutorial. I went in there and I adjusted that right before we started shooting so it would not blow your eardrums out. So I need to make it so it sticks. But anywho, this is the Team 3 tutorial. Are you playing for the first time? Well, yes, we in were. In this tutorial, you will learn which version nice. of the game do you it have. Married, so this is which Green version of the game do you have. Please don't mind the call. The game comes with the following component. Blueprint card. Yeah. Three roll. How many players are playing the game? Six. With six or more players, it's recommended in competitive play. For your first game. For your first game, place the other in Team 3. So this is what you're getting. I'm going to go back to the menu. Uh, I will say... I'm going to actually do specific reviews of each and every one of the different apps, but right now this is just a general overview, but I will say this was very promising. Uh, we tried it out and we did not have to utilize the rule booklets except for one minor thing. It doesn't actually say how many points to go to. Uh, we did have a glitchy issue though, and I think that's, this is early access as you can see on the top. Uh, the issue was it stopped narrating everything. But overall, very impressed with that. I also checked out the Carcassonne one to see if I could remember how to play Carcassonne without having to go back to the rules, and I could. So right now, there's only a few tutorials, because you scroll down, and you're like, oh my gosh, there's so many games. No, because this is a whole different part of the Dyes app that I didn't even know existed. I didn't know I wanted, but now I'm really glad I have. Each of these games has the rule booklet. So see, let's look at uh, let's look at Team 3 right here. So Team 3 has the little dice, the, it has, oh, where is it? The, the rules symbol, and all the games on here have the rules symbol, so you can read the rules on it. And I don't think I have those downloaded. Yeah, so I try to download it, but I'm not connected. So let's go ahead and connect to the internet real quick so you can see how that works, because I believe the, the, the tutorial, well, I was gonna show you. Let's so click on the download, and yeah, that was super quick. I don't even know how fast. <laughs> And now the rule booklet is a really interesting layout. I will say this. I'm not a big fan of how the rule booklet works because of one missing feature, or maybe I just don't know how to do the feature, which is I just want to like be able to tap it and read the actual physical versions of the rules. This does something very different where it has, uh, it goes over very specific parts. It's like, oh, mini expansion, overview, setup, which is great because you could just type in, you know, right here, Let's see, set, hope, I wish it would like, yep, is it going to start pulling stuff up for me? No, it's not set up. So yeah, uh, example, yeah, so I go to set up right here, click on there. So that's nice, and I do like that, and I think that's great for very specific questions in games, which I know we all have those. Like, how many times have you been like, can I see the rule booklet? With the Dyes app, you don't have to tip your hand, because one thing I hate doing is whenever someone asks to see the rule booklet, it's like, oh, this, this guy, this guy, she's about to do some big play, and he's just checking to see if it's even legal. But with the dice tap, it takes it away. So I actually do really like that. But I don't like how the fact I can't just read the rule booklet. Um, I have to, like, try and find my way through it. So I hope that they do eventually add that feature where, like, maybe down here at the bottom it's just read the rule booklet the regular way. Because there's no way, as far as I know, to navigate to just that. But let's get back into the tutorials. Because the rules, while I do think they're very cool and they excite me to no end, because I love... Like, this is, this is great. Like, how many games are going to be sold 
if this gets popular because someone is just like, ooh, there's a new rule booklet for this game. And it's it's in their hand. It's in their iPad. They're sitting on the bathroom. They're reading. They're like, this looks like a kind of game I'd enjoy. So overall, I mean, I'm, I'm guessing the number down here right now is like an 8.5. I think it's going to go with about an 8.5 because I think the app is fantastic as it is now. If you just – if you want to know how to play – Time Breaker Team 3, Carcassonne, Bang, Blood Rage, Ice Cooler, King Domino. It's awesome. Oh, in King Domino, there's even more potential. So you'll notice that there's three symbols over here under King Domino. Uh, and I haven't downloaded the tutorial. I want to because I believe if you download it now, you get to keep it forever. Because uh, eventually they're going to cost credits. So you'll be able to redeem codes, which uh, is actually what drew me to the app because I was uh, trying to redeem a code for Secret Neighbor Party Game, which that, but that tutorial is not ready yet. Uh, and you can also buy credits, and I'm imagining that the different uh, game tutorials are going to have different amounts of credits. This one also has a scoring thing right here, so let's download that. Four megabytes. That's totally reasonable, I think, if, um, you know, if I don't want to actually use the pads of paper. The download, by the way, is going super slow. I don't know if that's because my kids are currently on the internet upstairs and I'm also currently uploading a YouTube video and I'm using the Dyes app and we're listening to music upstairs. So it could be that or it could be the app. I don't think it's the app though because I'll be honest with you, I've downloaded quite a few things off of it and I've never felt like it was this time consuming. But hey, this is something that uh, hopefully they can work out because, but that being said, it's not even that bad. It just feels that bad because right now I'm trying to stall for time because I'm doing a YouTube video when I could just instead edit out this entire part. I could have just edited that out. All right, let's check out the scoring app. Project ready to be launched. This looks good. King Domino. Very cool. Holy guacamole. How many players do we have today? Oh, this is just the straight up tutorial. Um, wait, is that three? Oh, wow. Now that's, this looks really good. Choose any rule variation you are using. Whoa, okay. Player by player, enter the amount of terrain and crowds oh, this is the score? each of territories yeah. has. Oh, oh, is this, is this, what am I doing? Tempt, is, oh, I'm actually recreating my kingdom using the app and then it's going to give me my score? That's spectacular. Oh my gosh. That's, uh, like, How many players do this is what I'm getting here. I believe that as, as, a, as a, someone on my channel, I'm giving you this advice on this app. Get on it now. Get all this stuff now if you're interested, just so you own it. How many it. players? How do I get out of here? Okay, so now I am running to an issue. I'm not sure how to get out of... There we go. Wow, that was really stinking impressive. Now, here's another thing that I think is going to be really interesting and kind of while I, why I want to review each of the, uh, the dyes. Uh, tutorials individually is because from what I understand, and I, I could be wrong about this, is that the companies are actually going to be able to submit their tutorials uh, or there might be different people working on it. So they might all, not all be the same format because that King Domino one, that one looks substantially nicer than the Team 3 one. And I thought the Team 3 one was perfectly nice as well. So let's check out another one. Let's uh, Let's see. So Team 3 is Brain Games, King Domino is uh, Blue Orange Games. So let's see what Blood Rage looks like. Let's see what Simon's got. Tutorial, let's download it. 41 megabytes, are they all 41 megabytes? All right, there we go, some editing magic. I'm sure some cool numbers are on the screen. Let's go ahead and play this one and see what it looks like comparatively to what we've seen uh, with the other ones. Because I'm really interested to see, because, oh, okay. So, very nice, fancy looking. Not blowing out my eardrums. That's great. Odin Allfather, in his wisdom. So, this one's actually going into the theme. Ragnarok would come. He never found a way to prevent the Thank destruction. Thank you, like Now is the time for rage! <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Are you playing the brand new copy of the game? No. Oh, yeah, sure. Place the game box on the table. Oh, wow, we're going. Take the we are going so brand new. Oh yeah, because of all the stuff. 
look at this. Take out the, okay. place the figure. Take wow. out the large place the this, So it does look like the different companies the do different. Oh my good. Each figure wow. have a number. Find the if you are not figures. convinced attach, to download this, attach, I don't, attach, I don't, I don't know. What, make sure to take out <laughs> this looks spectacular. I don't want to mention they're not paying me or anything like this. Uh, I just, I wanted to keep you informed. And so honestly, all the tutorials are free right now. Now, I would highly recommend if you have any of these games, consider investing in this download if you have the space. Because I'll be honest with you, Ice Cool Tutorial, yeah, sign me up. How many times in my life am I going to bust out my copy of Ice Cool and not want to have to go back through the rules because I haven't played it in like six, seven, eight, a year or whatever. Um, not to mention, I love all the rule booklets in here and i can't wait to see what the different companies do i imagine different companies are going to start like i want to check out time breaker i don't own time breaker but i want to see what looney labs is bringing to the table so but but i'm going to wrap it up with this this one i want to see how different the looney labs oh why is it tutorial i think it's my they sticking yeah my stylus is <laughs> jacked up oh so this one's only 29 megabytes so they will vary in size which makes me wonder is there a cap is there a limit that DICE is placing on the people? But honestly, if all that we were seeing in that blood rage is packed into the 41 megabytes, and I can use that even when I'm not online, that is a huge selling point to me. Like, this... Because I love how to play videos. I really do enjoy them. I've shot quite a few of them, and they're super useful. But these these beat the doors down on, on those, in my personal opinion... Uh, I just, I love the tutorial. I love the fact I can go back a little bit easier. I don't have to like freeze on a certain spot. You know, the rules having the thing where you can look up very specific. I, uh, I'm, I'm just hot on this. I am hot on this app. I want to see them work out some of the hiccups that we've had. But, uh, whew. Let's check out the time breaker. Okay. like that color. Looks good. Let's play time breaker. Woo! Very nice. You work in the security division of the TRA, Looking the Time good. Repair Agent. Unfortunately, we don't have a good description of the perk, so just therefore open up the game box and take the game components out. <sighs> Technology is amazing. <laughs> I want to play Time Breaker now. The game, I don't own Time Breaker. I've never cards. heard of Time Breaker. Uh, Looney Labs hasn't sent me a review copy TRA since top. like years and years and years ago when I used to do flux reviews. But now I want to play this game. Like this, up to five this, this is selling me on the game. game. And the deck of therein cards. lies what I think is going to be amazing. I think that this will eventually be something we see as just like a, a, a Kickstarter almost of just like window shopping this is window shopping for games right now imagine when there's 50 100 200 of these tutorials and you're just sitting there and you're like hmm oh, this game looks pretty cool like oh blood rage this looks pretty neat you click on that tutorial you download the 41 megabytes and all of a sudden you're like wow this looks really cool and now i know that i'm not going to have this game that's going to sit on my shelf and rot there forever because i don't want to read through the 20 something page rule booklet and I don't want to have to sit there and try and teach people and have that rough first game potentially so that nobody wants to come back for the second game. We all know that game. We all have those games on our shelves. And I feel like this Dice app is potentially, has the potential, there is the key word, to, to bring this to the mainstream. And I'm almost feeling like 8.5. You know what, I'm bumping it to a 9. Slap a Bauer's best seal on this. I am that... You know what? I, I I feel like 9 is even like 2. Like, look at this right now. Like, just right now. This, this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 free tutorials for these games that, in theory, since you're downloading it, you can use whatever you want, even even if Dice goes, Dice goes down, because you'll have it downloaded, and you'll have the app downloaded. At least, I don't know exactly how that works. But, but that's just... And then all the rules as well. Like, like it, I am, quite honestly, I am going to download each and every set of the rules that I have the game for right now. So that if I ever really want to check some finicky rule in Terraforming Mars without having to go do it, like, that's great. Does this have all the, let's see, does this have the cards? I keep talking about this game. I'm sorry this one's going so long. But the more I, the more I think about it, the more this concept excites me to no end. Go download it now. Like, just do it and, and thank me later. Because if this gets big, and I really hope it gets big, like, it could change 
how we because eventually oh you know it baby you know it eventually the 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 publishers are going to start having little licks on here where it's like you can start buying this game now oh seven wonders homie are you interested after we blow your mind with this tutorial and you see that it takes 10 to 18 minutes what's the 10 to 18 minutes i wonder if that's how long the tutorial takes but now you want to buy it i i oof, oof, oof. i see it i see it folks i see the future right here and i believe dies is the future now don't get me wrong i i actually i love some of the other tutorial ones like um what is it uh Thame and cosmos i think it is cosmos has it uh a really great tutorial system as well but this has this marketplace appeal like i just i don't want to i don't want to stop i like i i want like a new game feature like bam new games new tutorials new rules I feel like, oh, whoa, it's exciting. But anyway, <laughs> if you couldn't tell, as this has gone from like an 8 to an 8.5 to a 9 point, I'm going to go, I'm, I'm going to go with a 9. I'm going to give it a Bower's Best Seal. I'm going to stop there. I'm not going to go too crazy. Because like I said, we did have an issue with one of the team through the tutorials where we did have to look at the rules to see how many points you were supposed to go to. And also the, the sound stopped on it. But overall nine bowers best seal this thing is the real deal check it out right stinking now i don't think you'll regret it but if you enjoy what i'm doing please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below also consider supporting the patreon link down below if you enjoy what i'm doing because currently i am out of a job homeschooling and uh, panhandling on youtube and in the comments below let me know what would be the game that would be like, all right, I will immediately download the Dyes app and I will immediately use it if they had the, uh, like a really good tutorial for it. What would be your number one game? For me personally, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. I would say Twilight Imperium 3rd Edition because I love, or well, 4th Edition, whatever. We have 3rd Edition because I absolutely, we have both actually, because I love it, but my buddy Alan is just so into that game that he's always on the rules that I never have to teach anybody that game. So for that one, it's not going to be for me. I think the one that, that would be my number one is the Lord of the Rings uh, card game, the LCG, because my son and I just recently watched The Fellowship of the Rings. He's totally into it now, and I would love to be able to introduce that game to him, but it's so complex. But let me know in the comments below, what would that be that one game that would sell you? And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.